so hello everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here thank you so so much for clicking on today's video as you guys can see from today's title i am going to be doing my own version of the 2022 fashion trend predictions i have been loving watching these videos i watched delaney's one i watched cassie's one i've watched so many and i've just been getting so much inspo for the fashion year ahead i feel like january is such a kind of uninspiring time it's where you kind of want to invest in your wardrobe for the new year but you don't really know what to get and i just found these videos really really helpful for me and hopefully this one will be helpful for you guys as well you guys know i love all things fashion i'm always trying to stay ahead of the trends and hopefully this video will kind of break down some of the major trends which we'll be seeing in 2022 how to style them kind of where you can shop them as well i feel like a lot of these videos have been mainly focused on kind of the very high-end fashion catwalks and vogue which is definitely where most of my inspo has come from but obviously i know a lot of my followers and myself love high street fashion as well so i'm going to be showing you guys kind of how these trends have trickled down and i'm very excited i'm also very excited for this fashion year i feel like we're full on in the roaring 20s now like it is happening if you guys are new here then hello my name is bella i make a lot of fashion and lifestyle videos if you do want to follow me and if you do want to see some more from me then go and hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me also don't forget to like this video and leave a comment it helps with the youtube algorithm so much it will push my video so yeah i love you guys for doing that also check me out over on instagram if you want to see some daily kind of posts styling up outfits everything a little bit of my life like honestly everything i post on that every single day so it would mean the world to me if you go and follow me over on that as well so guys i have compiled a list here in this notebook if i keep looking down that is what i'm looking at i'm not being rude um but i'm gonna start off with a big kind of umbrella term which i feel like was a big trend in 2021 and even it's gonna be even bigger in 2022 and that is y2k fashion one of my favorite trends Ever. I just love that whole era and that style as you guys can probably see from my Instagram um, I did start to pick up a little bit last year like the patterns low-waisted kind of that vibe but I feel like this year is going to be bigger and better one thing specifically in this category that we have is kind of like little cami tops and more specifically butterfly tops the actual tops which literally look like a butterfly they're usually very girly very feminine they've got like glitter or like kind of rhinestones on them super super Y2K I think it was Blue Marine that did this in their catwalk show and i fell in love with that look it looks so nice with like low waisted trousers which i'm gonna get onto in a little bit but yeah i just love that whole vibe also on the top front we also have bandos i feel like bandos are going to be massive in 2022 they're kind of something that never really goes out but they come back into fashion a little bit more in certain years I think the whole like carrie bradshaw vintage cavalli vintage versace kind of vibe very effortless kind of like loose hair like a little bando maybe like a maxi or midi skirt low rise I'm all about that vibe. I think it is so flattering. It's really easy to wear. I'm really comfortable as well. A little bit more comfortable than the previous option. Also, we have kind of bras as outerwear. Again, one of my favourite trends. It's been around for a little while, but I feel like now we're taking it to the extreme in 2022. Like, literal bras are going to be out, and I'm just so here for it. I think they actually look really, really flattering, and I just love the whole vibe. And I don't just mean, like, for evening. I mean, like, for day, like, bra-type tops um but even just kind of like bralettes that kind of give us the same vibe if you're not too confident for that then honestly there's so many ways that you could wear these trends but yeah i'm very excited for those i feel like chanel did quite a lot of kind of underwear as outerwear in their fashion show recently kind of like the whole 90s vibe which i just loved and it's really inspired me i just can't wait to kind of get into spring summer to style that one a little bit more then you guys all knew it was coming low rise which i know sounds scary and i also thought the same thing last year when it came in i was like oh my gosh i'm very out of my depth i'm very out of my comfort zone i love my high-waisted jeans like i don't know if i'm ready to give those up but i have fully been converted i love a low-rise cargo i love a low-rise like maxi skirt midi skirt a low-rise mini skirt like honestly everything low-rise give it to me we have seen some of the catwalks do the extreme extreme low-rise like Mew Mew did one with a skirt that was literally like a tube and I mean, if you want to go and wear that, honestly, good for you, hun, because I could never, I could never. Um, but I think it's definitely a trend that you can kind of adapt and wear in your own way. There are certain levels of low-waistedness as well, which I kind of realise. Some things I put on and I'm like, oh gosh. And then other things I put on and I'm like, actually, this feels really comfortable. I think it always helps to wear something kind of loose and slightly baggier. That's why I said it always gravitates towards kind of baggy low-rise jeans. Bella Hadid does those looks all the time. Um, I love a baggy kind of midi or maxi skirt. 
um anything kind of tight and low rise for me is a bit of a miss so yeah maybe that's a little tip if you guys want to get into the trend but just want to feel a bit more comfortable doing so we obviously saw so many low rise skirts i think it was in versace's spring summer 2022 collection and i was just obsessed with them i love the whole vibe i think it was emily ratajowski had the iconic outfit and it's honestly one of my favorite runway looks ever i just love it so much and next is a trend which honestly if you told me about this a few years ago i'd have been like no 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 like there is no way this is coming back and when i say it, you're going to kind of be a little bit shocked but i think you have to think of how it can be adapted to kind of the 2022 vibe and i'm going to say that the trend that's coming back is dresses over trousers I literally said it i think when you think of that i literally think of like high school musical miley cyrus like that era where they literally used to wear like two two dresses over jeans and i don't mean that i mean literally kind of like longer versions of tops that kind of could be dresses like especially like button ups and like sheer tops but that kind of go a little bit lower i'm personally a bit more of a cropped girl so i'm preferring the kind of cami bando style outfits but i'm going to definitely give this one a go there's a few cardigans which i did see zara do last year they were a little bit longer i love that look i also weekday i think do one as well and just kind of wearing them over trousers like baggy or tight however you kind of want to style it but i think just kind of having a button up very long kind of maxi cardigan with a few buttons done up and then it kind of drapes out if that makes any sense and then in terms of Y2K, I cannot mention the trend without talking about bags. You guys know my love and passion in life is handbags, especially vintage ones. So Y2K handbags are going to be massive again. And more specifically, the bowling bag. I actually put some pictures of the Christian Dior new bowling bags in my story a little while ago, actually, a few months ago. And I fell in love with these bags. Like, they are stunning. They give me Bratz doll vibes. They give me vintage vibes and i adore them and i mean like all size bowling bags are going to be big like bigger ones smaller ones mini ones i think like the vintage like von dutch bowling bags some like little playboy ones like honestly all those just kind of cute ones that literally could be worn by a brap style that is the vibe we are going for yeah so many brands are doing bowling bags i have seen so many i actually recently invested in a versace vintage denim bowling bag and i kind of knew it was going to be a little bit of a trend but i'm definitely glad now that i did actually make the investment because i'm very excited to style it for summer so next i'm going to move on to a shoe trend more specifically a heel trend and that is going to be platforms which kind of scares me i'm five foot ten i struggle to walk in heels anyway and if you've seen some of the platforms that have gone down these runways we're all going to be in a e in 2022 because fashion honestly like i'm a little bit scared but i'm so here for it. i love the way they look i feel like again these kind of came in a little bit towards the end of 2021 i actually want my friend george's pet any picture during christmas kind of time when they started to get a little bit big but obviously versace have done those massive platforms in all the bright colors like the pink and like the lime color obviously versace did their platforms and bought a new kind of one out for the summer as well which is more like a peep toe kind of sandal moment as well but very very chunky um acne i think in their runway did so many platforms like honestly i was watching the models like fearing for their lives because they were walking like in these gigantic like bricks on their feet also valentino have done a few of these as well but like i said these are kind of the higher end versions but i'm sure we'll be seeing loads of dupes of these as we already have been naked wolf is a slightly more affordable kind of brand who also make really really great platform sandals and like boots and everything so yeah definitely worth investing in your platforms if you love platforms then this trend is going to be really great for you and i do love how they look i feel like i just need to get over in my head that i'm going to be like a seven foot giant but next we're moving on to one of my favorite trends which is metallics and this is in every kind of way possible um i've heard the kind of phrases in vogue sparkling silver and crystal clear so this is literally like sheer dresses just with like diamantes sheer tops with diamantes like no bra that's the kind of vibe we're going for sheer um just very kind of like almost christmasy festive dresses but worn out of the festive period and I think that's one thing I'll say to you guys. Don't pack away your glittery metallic outfits because get them back out in the summer. Style them in the way like Fendace did in their catwalk show. I think they did metallics so, so well. Obviously incorporating all the kind of trends like the little bralettes, the low-waisted skirts. All of that vibe is just, it's iconic and I love it. It's like the 90s supermodel vibe. I think it was Naomi Campbell, Claudia Schiffer kind of wore those 
sequiny dresses also metallics for things like bags and i personally have also invested in a metallic bag my balenciaga liquor gold bag again very very y2k vibes but i feel like metallic bags are just gonna be so weird we've seen them from prada already they've got a lot of silver little prada ones like the clio like the little tote bag as well chrome hearts do a lot of silver bags balenciaga like i said i've got the gold one and they do like a silver metallic chrome one there's so many there's also a coach one which is a little bit more affordable it's like the coach pillow tabby bag in the mini silver which i saw the other day and that is stunning but yeah like i said we'll be seeing so many dupes we'll be seeing so many kind of inspired bags on the market you may even already have a silver bag because they're kind of something that goes in and out but i feel like they're going to be absolutely massive in 2022 and i feel like when you say metallics you do kind of think of more evening wear which i do get with the kind of crystal clear and sparkling silver trends but these metallic bags and other things like chokers and even like what's it called chain belts like they're gonna be massive as well that whole kind of like chunky silver metallic vibe is going to be in not just for the evening but also for kind of street style as well i've seen a lot of like jeans with like low-waisted chain belts and also just like dresses as well with boots and like a low-waisted chain belt i even saw plt do that so it's definitely filtering through into like the less high-end brands next i have grouped together a few different trends just because i kind of feel they do complement each other and you do see quite a lot of them together and that is asymmetry in clothing cutouts and also ties I feel like we've seen a lot of kind of cutouts and that whole asymmetric look a lot recently. I'm a massive fan of it. Obviously, like the kind of poster girl dress had it going down the middle, like those cutouts down the middle. You've probably seen every single girl on Instagram wear that dress. But I think it's going to be, I feel like we're leaving that in 2021. I feel like it's going to be a lot more high fashion feeling, more asymmetric. Like I've got this kind of asymmetric design top on now. It's from weekday. But I think a lot more kind of sporadic cutouts, um, maybe just like it just have a more luxe feel we've seen at moogla obviously they do a lot of cutouts and asymmetry um i think fendarchi and the versace show i'm gonna reference that a lot because honestly it's one of my favorites obviously versace do so many kind of asymmetric skirts as well and i think they're really really flattering an asymmetric skirt the kind of way it dips down at the side we've seen asymmetric tops like there's gonna be a lot of asymmetry i think in 2022 and then also obviously like i mentioned ties laces the whole exposed thong thing as well that's going to be massive like we saw Hailey Bieber do it at the Met Gala um, I think Alexa Demi did it as well but we're going to see that a lot more and probably in a more wearable way I actually recently wore this pair of boohoo joggers which I feel like fit the trend extremely well and a really great way of showing how you can wear those in a more street style day-to-day -day look so guys the final thing I wanted to mention which doesn't really fall into a category but is a general thing I think we'll be seeing a lot in 2022 and that is collaborations i feel like we'll be seeing so many more collaborations we've already seen quite a few obviously with like fendace it's been like missoni palm angels there's been the balenciaga hacker project with gucci balenciaga like there's been so many i just think that's only going to carry on into 2022 fendi skims and i think it's not just going to be like high end like high-end high-end collabs i think it's going to be kind of random things or there's like the gucci north face i think adidas are now doing a collab with prada and i think we're going to be seeing that a lot like street style collabs with high-end like fashion um which i think is really great i think they're great pieces to invest in because they're going to be very rare i personally haven't yet invested in kind of a collab item i don't know why i just think to me maybe they seem a little bit gimmicky that's just me some pieces from blend saga hacker project are stunning though and i think they are great investments i think they're gonna be really good to hold on to and to kind of resell in the future if you want to because they are gonna be so unusual and very very iconic um but yeah i think just for general just like collaboration between brands i think even like really random collabs we're gonna see like literal like the things you'll never think of i think will happen like trust me so guys that is going to round off today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed it like i said it's been a little bit of a different one um i'm not an expert i obviously studied fashion at uni i'm massively into it but these are obviously just trend predictions and my own kind of opinions as well take it how you will we'll see what actually happens we'll see what doesn't um but yeah i think this is a pretty good way to start if you want to invest in your 2022 wardrobe if you want to start thinking of outfits and looks and stuff like that then these are the things you should definitely be watching out for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, also follow my Instagram, and I'll hopefully see you guys very, very soon on my next video. Bye, guys.